Hey guys, I recently um, shared this post with somebody um, cause they got caught out with the use color override from source component um, issue in Autodesk Inventor. So I let them know that um, there's some VBA code here that they can insert and run within um, Inventor. Um, it, it cycles through all of the parts in their assemblies and turns off this setting. Um, the, the trouble is, is it turns out that when I searched online to see if there were any videos showing how to just quite simply insert some VBA code into Inventor um, and then run it, there didn't really appear to be much in the way of help. Um, there is this um, document here that you can use, but it's not a video. Um, and, you know, there's a whole bunch of extra stuff in here that you really don't need to know just to do to do what we're after here with this particular string of code. So here we go. So with Inventor launched um, and, and a new part file or assembly file open, doesn't really matter. Switch to the Tools tab and select VBA Editor. Now there's two sections to the VBA Editor. You have the Application Project and the Document Project. Now any code that's added under the Document Project will remain with the active file that's open within Inventor. So in this case we don't want that to happen because we want to be able to use this little routine across multiple documents within Inventor. So, so we can set this up in here. Now we can create a new module. He says, um, insert module. I could just rename the existing one if I wanted to, but in this case it's going to be remove color overrides. So now we can see now the name of this module will be what appears in the um, VBA list when you try and run a macro. So we'll switch back to. Um, the code that I've got in my post here and copy this all out. And let's jump back in here and just paste it in. Okay, and that's it. So you can see that based on the um, syntax within um, the VBA editor, some of the text has been colored based on the types of code, whether it's just a, a string value here, like uh, just a description of what this section of code is going to be doing. It's been commented out, so yeah, it's just a comment. It's been commented out with this apostrophe. Um, so that's it, pretty much. So if I save that off, this is now um, saved off as a as a module within the default um, VBA project that gets loaded with the application every time Inventor runs. And we can come back into Inventor now. Um, in the, in the case in this example with um, That this particular the job this particular macro does um, you'd have to run on an assembly so we can now switch to tools select macros and we don't want to be in the document project we want to be in the application project now we can just select all projects and active documents and now you can see this remove color overrides remove override so that's it and then you just run the code um, in this case, it's failed because it's not actually a um, derived. No, I didn't have any derived components in that assembly. So there you go. Um, that's it, really. So now you've got all of the code. I'll just, just stop that. Just trying to run. So now we've got all of the code loaded in. Every time you want to run a macro, just switch back to this view and run the macro. Uh, I hope that was helpful for you guys, and um, thanks for listening. See you again next time.